all right, you guys are bugging me enough. I got to do it. You're forcing me to do this show on this topic. And it all started after the NFC Championship game. Probably already now know where I'm going with this. The New Orleans Saints controversially losing to the Los Angeles Rams. There was not a pass interference call that should have been. It clearly should have been here. I mean, not only should have been pass interference, should have been helmet to helmet. This is just crazy over here. Referee's right near there. I don't know how he still has a job. Certainly in position. Multiple refs were in position. No way they can miss this. How how completely asinine it is to miss this. And the New Orleans Saints absolutely have a gripe right now, even though they went to overtime and Drew Brees played a horrible overtime through the interception, couldn't get much going on offense. They had questionable calls throughout that game. I don't want to just say referees. They certainly are at fault for their own loss and had opportunities to win that game otherwise. But look at this again. My God. He's doing, he's doing a wrestling move here. It's a Goldberg spear to the head. So this could have been multiple penalties and sure, certainly should have been something. Certainly should have helped the Saints out, churn that clock and win that in regulation before even we get to Drew Brees collapse in OT. But some reason or another, and this is what you guys do best, the Steelers fans connect it to, to themselves. You always find a way to connect it to yourself, don't you? That the Saints, according to Steelers fans, have no reason to complain, have nothing to, to com- no, no conversation, have nothing to discuss because of what happened to them, because of the game between the Steelers and the Saints. And that's where I'm going with this. This is another episode of Mike Drop here on Pittsburgh Sports Live, coming at you from the Beaver County Auto Studios up above Market Square here in downtown Pittsburgh. I am your host, Mike Osti. I'll put the graphic up there for you. You can find me. Send me the hate mail. Slide in my DMs and send me more death threats because I've got some of those. That's not a lie. At Mike Osti 11. My sports opinion apparently gets to you that much. It's a compliment to me. Keep on, keep it, keep it coming. Sure. But you guys want to connect the Steelers and Saints. So the, St- the Saints lose controversially in the championship game. I just detailed it. And you want to connect it to yourself. And I'm not going to say again, and I said this in a past show on Steelers do- SteelersNow.com. I said this in a past show. You can find it here on Pittsburgh Sports Live in the channel. Scroll through Mic Drop. All my shows are there in a feed. Very simple for you. That you can't blame the refs for the entirety of the Steelers' season. They were one of the most talented teams in the National Football League. They didn't even make the playoffs. But, yes, there were questionable calls. And, yes, here is one of them. This was called pass interference. No pass interference on the Ram jacking a Saint in the head and clearly interfering with the pass. No pass interference there in the AFC title game, biggest game of the season. Pass interference here on Joe Hayden well behind the receiver on a ball that's well overthrown. So regardless of where Hayden positioned himself, certainly should not have been pass interference here because it was an uncatchable ball. I get it. Uncatchable ball. Gene Steratore is saying it there in the tweet. Gene Steratore says it. It must be true. But, again... You can't say that because you got screwed on one call in the first quarter of a regular season game that all of a sudden that somehow justifies the New Orleans Saints to then be screwed over in the NFC Championship game late in the fourth quarter of the biggest game of the year. That if that call, which easily should have been past interference, it's not even a question. There it is. Roughing the roughing pass interference, helmet to helmet. It probably was roughing the passer over there. I don't know, but we got we got helmet to helmet and a pass interference here on the receiver. If that was called, the Saints would have won. They could have slept the rest of the rest of the quarter. They would have won that game. There's vision tests. There's lawyers suing. They have a gripe. It's not going to be changed. No one's going to redo anything. You're not going to get the team together and play the end of the game again. That never happens in sports, even when maybe it should sometimes. So they're just going to controversially lose, and that's happened throughout history of sports. Not all the time does the best team win, and maybe the Rams were the best team the way that game went, but there was controversy there for sure. They have a gripe. It's heartbreaking fashion. 
and they have much more of a gripe than the Steelers. The Steelers lost to the Cleveland Browns prior to Baker Mania, prior to Baker Mayfield becoming the starter to open up the year. Or they tied the Browns, I'm sorry. Tied the Browns without Baker. Tied the Browns without Baker Mania. No Baker Mania, tying the Browns. So the winless Browns a season earlier end up with a tie against the Steelers, which absolutely could be critical when you the Browns become a good team with Baker and you're in the same division. You can't beat them. That's a winless Browns team. That's prior to Baker. You lose to the Oakland Raiders on the road. Again, Ben never beats the Raiders. 0-4 in the AFC West overall this year. Losing also to the Broncos, who weren't a playoff team. Raiders, of course, not a playoff team. A bad team, one of the worst teams in football this year. The Steelers lose to them. And the Steelers lose to the Chargers, who were a playoff team, one of the best teams in the AFC this year. Granted, we saw what New England did to them in the postseason, as they always do. But they were a great regular season team. Phillip Rivers had one of the best years of his Hall of Fame career, and he is a Hall of Famer. But the Steelers had a 16-point lead at home on national TV and blew that game. They blew a 16-point lead at home on national TV. Controversial calls or not, and there were some bad calls in that game, I give you, you can't blow that game. That's on the defense. That's on the overall team. You can't blow that game. You got to find a way. They didn't. So there were so many other opportunities, and I didn't even detail them all, in which the Steelers didn't show up or the Steelers collapsed, or namely the Steelers lost games or didn't win games, for a better phrase, because of the Browns tie, games they absolutely should have won, and if any of those games swung over the pendulum to the Steelers winning, they would have been a playoff team. That's how close it was. So the Steelers can't blame their entirety entirety of their season on the refs. I did a show on this again. SteelersNow.com, Pittsburgh Sports Live on the YouTube channel. You'll find it there under the mic drop section. Steelers can't blame their year on the refs. There were bad calls, absolutely, but there are bad calls throughout the entire year, and the NFC Championship game ended with a horrendous call. And the Saints' gripe is way stronger than the Steelers. Just because the Steelers had some bad calls go against them, and yet they puttered away their season with all the talent and all the expectations because of all their drama and the fact they underachieved, that's on themselves. They can look in the mirror for that. Because they did that, You can't then throw the excuse at the referees. And you can't then also say that because of what happened to us, it legitimizes what went on with the Saints in the NFC title game. What? What? That is... I want to do a little John right now. What? Okay? For sarcasm. And that was awful, I know. But, guys, what? Stone Cold Steve Austin, maybe. What? What? I just love how that chant's always going to be around the WWE long after Stone Cold. What? It's kind of the face I want to give while saying what? It's just confusing because you can't compare the two. Yes, that should have not been pass interference against Joe Hayden. Maybe that would have flipped that game. Maybe that would have then put the Steelers in the playoffs if that game was flipped. I get it. It still would have kept the Saints in the same position, though. They still would have had home field. This would have been a great team in the NFC and been a playoff team and been vying for the NFC crown most of the year. That wouldn't have kicked them off. So their destiny wouldn't have changed, potentially. And I get it maybe would have changed for the Steelers, but they shouldn't have needed that to be an issue. If they wouldn't have tied the Browns prior to Baker, if they would have beat their horrible Oakland Raiders, if they would have beat the pretty average Denver Broncos, if they would have done tons of other things, if they didn't blow a 16-point lead to the Los Angeles Chargers, who clearly we later saw can be exposed, and you're at home on national TV with a team you also think is a championship contender, if none of those things happened, or even if one of them didn't happen, and you flip the Saints, or you don't flip the Saints, or that game wouldn't have mattered, it would have been irrelevant. They would have then made the playoffs. So you can't worry about that game so much. They had their opportunities more than you could say the Saints did because that game would have guaranteedly won them that NFC championship. Got Dubreeze in his second Super Bowl. Got him in a higher conversation for an all-time rank. Maybe bumped him with an argument with Aaron Rodgers that many are kind of underrating Drew Brees. They're very similar. I mean, Rodgers is a fantastic player, one of the greatest of all, of all time. Trust me, I know. They're, they're not exactly the same. He's more athletic, but... Drew Brees' numbers are right there. That second Super Bowl appearance would have really helped him. With all the records he's been setting and how consistent he's been and how elite he's been and how it was an MVP-type season 
and his percentages and all the yards and everything he's putting together. But it was not to be off of controversy from a really a blind man who was masquerading as a referee. See it again. Helmet to helmet, certainly pass interference. We don't see the ball yet. This is certainly interfering with the receiver. The ball was not overthrown. It was right there on the money. The receiver had no chance at the ball. No chance. He's playing the receiver. He's not playing the ball. That's the defender perfectly playing the receiver, not the ball. Where's he looking at the ball? His helmet to helmet crashing into the guy. Come on. But because there was bad calls against the Steelers, even though that's your one-track mind, that does not legitimize that. That does not mean you shouldn't feel bad for Saints fans. That does not mean that the Saints don't have a gripe. That does not mean that was not controversial. That does not mean that was not an awful call that cost the Saints the NFC Championship and a Super Bowl appearance. Doesn't mean any of that. And I saw some of those tweets. Because of the Steelers, and you could do it as a joke, sure, go collect your likes and retweets. But there were some that were serious, that... I don't feel bad for the Saints, or justice was served, or they deserve this. First off, they're not responsible for the call. That's the referee who made this horrible call causing calling pass interference on Joe Hayden. Not not the Saints' fault. They're going to take it, just like the Steelers would if they get a call that goes their way. And they did get some. One of their biggest wins of the year against the Patriots, they got some calls that went their way too. So you need to have calls go your way, especially when all these controversial calls are happening throughout a year. But you're not going to ask the Saints not to take the call when it's there. It's not their fault. The referees blame the refs on that call, but not again for the totality of the entire season because the Steelers had their opportunities to correct that wrong and still be a playoff team, and then you'd be in the dance and you'd have a shot. The Saints did all that. They did what they had to do. They got in the dance. They got the home field. They got the seed. They did everything they had to do this year. They'd be one of the best teams in football. They get down to one moment, the biggest game of the year, and then the ref screws them. Way different than a regular season first quarter game when you had so many opportunities to make that irrelevant. The Saints couldn't have made that call irrelevant off the no pass interference call that should have been. They can't make that irrelevant. They were already in the NFC Championship game. That was right there for them. They can't just, I mean, unless somehow they win these court cases, which obviously they won't, they can't make that irrelevant. Aside from overtime, we're a granite. They, they were not good in overtime, and Drew Brees was not good in overtime. They had their opportunities, but it's not the same. You cannot compare a first quarter of a regular season game with the end and a fourth quarter in an incredibly close game against two elite teams vying for the NFC Championship in a championship game with the winner going to the Super Bowl. It is not the same. And they absolutely have an argument, regardless of bad calls against the Steelers, who could have got over those if they would have just played well against teams they should have beat. Whereas the Saints were absolutely screwed off of that one call when they finally got down to that last moment to end their year. Sorry, that's reality. So I don't want to hear any more of this, and I'm sure you'll drop me in the comments and you'll do it there. But while you're in the comments... Subscribe to us. We have over over 1,000 subscriptions, well ahead of our competition here on the YouTube channel. And go to our family of networks, Pittsburgh Sports Now, Pittsburgh Hockey Now, Pittsburgh Soccer Now even, which may come back to PSL, and SteelersNow.com, my little baby there, covering the Steelers Now with a website, not just the the YouTube channel here in in this venture. But subscribe. And when you do, I'm sure you're going to never fail. Drop me a comment and tell me why the referees screwed the Steelers all year and why the first quarter of a regular season game is the exact same as the end of the fourth quarter in the NFC Championship game. Now, the game should have been called the same all the way through. I'm with you there. If it's pass interference in the first quarter, it should be pass interference in the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. I get it. I'm with you there. I, I beat on that drum forever, even though some don't agree. And the referees even said they called down the middle no matter what. I don't know if I believe them, but that's what they say. But a team that gets screwed out of the NFC Championship game has much more of an argument than a team that gets screwed out of a first quarter call in the regular season when they could have beat many other teams that are way worse than them, and if they would have done that, it would have made the call irrelevant. Not even close to the same. The Saints and Steelers are not married this year, and the Steelers fans shouldn't be saying the Saints have no argument because they had one bad call also go against them, or even a few bad calls go against them this year. They could have fixed all that. They could have made it irrelevant, whereas the Saints got screwed and were robbed 
of the NFC Championship. That's it for me there. I, I need some water. I am already empty there in the cup there. Nothing. Already uh, drank all that in past shows and splashed myself in wa- with some water there uh, on the rant. But uh, again, c- subscribe on the YouTube channel. Follow our family of networks. You can also find us on Twitter at PGH Sports Live on Twitter. And myself, at MikeOsti11, that's where the hate mail can go. That's where you can slide in my DMs and where you can jaw with me and argue with me and troll me because I have some some patented trolls that like to go at me. And sometimes they compliment me. Sometimes they troll me. I don't know. I think my trolls are bipolar. We'll find out later. Similar to some of these athletes I cover here in Pittsburgh media. Again, though, the Saints weren't able to march in. They weren't able to conquer. They weren't able to do uh, that marching into the Super Bowl, and because of the controversy, the referees didn't do that to the Steelers. They had their chances. That's the, the referees screwed the Saints way more. <laughs> way more. It's not even close. <laughs>